doing here? Aren't you going shopping with your friends? No, I have to study hard now because I got a midterm test next week. Wow, I'm glad that you finally realized. Usually I used to see you hang out with your friends every evening. Yeah, but recently I decided to change my lifestyle because my exam result on a downtrend directly. It's only possible to make some change in my life result if I start now. Uh huh? Is that you? Hey, KV, long time did not see you. Hi, buddy. Yeah, true also. Yes, it is me. Anything here? New movie just released today in cinema. So I thought of going for the movie later, but nobody wants to jo join me. Would you like to join me on? I don't think so. Maybe next time, Iman. I plan to do revision for coming meeting in the library for the whole evening. Oh, come on, Ang. Just for a few hours only. The midterm test is on next week. I'm sorry, dear. I don't think so. I will change my mind this time. However, I really do appreciate your invitation. Well, look like nobody going to join me today. So, I'm thinking on changing my mind to join you for revisions instead. May I, Ang? Why not? Come join me. It will be a great idea. Wow, you guys are awesome. Just count me in. Look, Ang, there is a new. Every year, 5 million people die while world from smoking. 5 million people? Horrible! It asked me thinking about Iman. Do you know he is a chain smoker? That is so obvious. He has a circle of bad friends, most of whom are no longer engaged in study. But Theo, Iman is an excellent student. He performed well since the day one. This is our opportunity to draw him back to the right track. That's right. We can just give up on him. By the way, can you tell what are the bad effects of smoking? Surely, for your information, it is very dangerous as smoking causes many factor diseases like heart attack, lung cancer, blood cancer. Other than that, we can also see effects like smelly hair, bad and stick teeth, wrinkly skin, poor vision, and much more. Oh my god, it's so dangerous, right? Is it the habit that takes both money and health and gradually a smoker to something more badly than that? and unhealthy life. So, it is high time we bring Iman back from this ruinous life. Oh look, who is coming? I'm not there. This is the right time. Can't we call him and talk about this? How are you dear? I wanted to check in with you because you have seemed pretty down lately. Is there anything you would like to share with me? Hey, I am not really good. There is no point in dealing with what you say. Life is so touched and I really feel lost nowadays. When did you begin feeling like this? Did something happen that made you start feeling this way? If you don't mind, you can share with me your problem. We can figure this out together. It's alright, Gavi. Let's be it be. Somehow nothing going to change. I don't want to bother anyone by sharing my problem. I will face this myself. I do understand that something is bothering you. Ang, I'm your friend. I'm not only here to share your happiness and victories only. Friends are together to share equally each and every moment of life. To be there in your ups and downs. Now calm down and please let me know what exactly you are facing. Kavi, Recently, my grade getting terrible and this making my stress with my touch course, software engineering. I am afraid that I cannot perform well in my coming final exam. I am pretty sure you are aware that I am totally depend on my scholarship for financial. This is continuous. I am afraid that my event terminates me from my scholarship. Oh, I see. 
Don't worry, I'm sure your family is there for you to support you always. Let me think if I can help you in any way for this. I am not from a well-doing family background. This will definitely disappoint my parents as they have high hope on me. This really stressed me so much and I have no idea what to do. Oh, you are not alone in this. I am here for you. When you want to give up, tell yourself you will hold on for just one more day, hour, minute, whatever you can manage. Thank you so much, dear. I feel better after sharing with you my problem. That's what friends are for. I'm always there for you, so you can pour your heart without any hesitation. I also have an idea. Why don't you join me for the extra classes I'm going? It will be a great help for you. We can even do the revisions together. I'll guide you my best. Thank you once again. Hey, how are you? I'm Hi, I'm just fine. Just fine? Why? What happened? I'm nervous. Oh! Why are you nervous? Buddy, can you share your problem with me? Tell me what's bothering you. I'm surely try to fix your problem. I have been selected for a speech competition and I'm feeling nervous. Wow, congrats buddy. I know why are you nervous? You lack confidence in public, am I right? Exactly. This is the whole problem. I am feeling nervous and afraid of people's reaction to my speech in the auditorium. So, this is it. Come on, buddy. I'm sure you can do it very well. I'm really wish I could do it without nervousness. Can you suggest that I do something to overcome my nervousness and lack of confidence? Sure, why not? But first of all, take a deep breath and relax. Panicking or feeling nervousness cannot help you in building up your confidence. Take a chill pill, dude. You always cheer me up. I know if you encourage me, I will probably feel relaxed and it will give us great speech in front of people. This is the key point. Try to be careful with your gestures and your body language. Avoid to make an eye contact direct with people sitting in the auditorium. Try to focus on your speech rather than the crowd. It will surely help you not to lose your self-confidence. Manipulate your mind and the audience with a smiling and confident face. This the trick. Dear, I really hope it will work. It will, dear. It will work. Just remember what I say and you will do the best. I'm sure. Thank you so much for such friendly suggestion, Still, I sure go now and reassess for speech. Thank you once again, buddy. Wish you luck, dear. See you in the auditorium. <laughs>